Okay, we're going to set up a downstream controller. This controller here is my number one controller. It's an MX4, and as you can see, the dip switching here. Dip switch number one is switched on. That's uh, unlocking the encryption. Two and three are switched off, and four is switched on. Dip switch four being on means that this is the master controller. This is the first one in line. Then down all the way at the bottom there, we have dip switch number eight on. Since it's binary, that's address one. This is the SNB2 RS485 port on the panel. Our wires hook up. The drain wire goes to the ground on the left. And then receive negative, receive positive, transmit negative, transmit positive. And you can see how I have the coloring set up there. Nothing special about the coloring other than that's how a match reader wires up. So I like to keep everything the same on my Hirsch panels. We're going to go to our downstream controller. This is the first panel downstream. So something you'll notice here is my wires are flipped. So, my red and black are hooked up to the transmit positive and negative. My white and green are hooked up to the receive positive and negative. Drain wire, of course, is still hooked up to the ground. Now, this, what this is doing is it's going from the transmit on the master panel and going to the receive on the slave panel. Now, from this secondary controller, you're just going to parallel off of this if you want to add a third, fourth, all the way up to 16. You can put 16 controllers on one loop. The only thing is these dip switches here have to be switched over to the left when you get to the end of the line. And since this is a downstream controller, you'll notice up here on my dip switches, dip switches one through four, number four is turned off because this is either the middle or the end of the line. This one currently is addressed as number one. If I put it as a downstream, uh, you would have to change the address from one to two through 64. So we are going to add a downstream controller. First thing we're gonna do, go to our Xbox, and add new controller. We're going to call this ASI Demo MX8. It's an MX8 panel. Uh, description, it's in my warehouse, so I will call it warehouse panel. I'm going to give it an address of number two. And we are going to change the model to MX8. Daylight savings is correct. We're going to load the setups from the controller because it was an existing controller. So all the time zones and everything are already put in that controller. I want to bring them into my system. So I'm going to say OK here. And there we go panel came online. That is how you add a downstream controller in Velocity.